Hello everyone. In this video I show you how to catch the click event on a button in a surf table and how to read the function code of the clicked button. I will extend the code from a video of mine where I show you how to catch a double click event in a surf table. The video where I create this code is linked to you in the top right corner. So, this is my code now and to add a custom button we need a new GUI status. For this we can click on the program, right mouse click and then create and then GUI status or the much easier way is to copy an exist GUI status from another program. In my case for example, here I have a standard GUI status, I click on copy and here I can type my new program and then click on copy and so on. I have already done this in this program, so let's double click on the GUI status. Then open the application toolbar and here we see the whole buttons and I added two custom buttons here with the function code del and help. So then activate and save the GUI status and go back to the code. And uh, in order for this new status to be called, we have to do the following. We scroll to the factory method where we call the surf table. And here we add the new GUI status, we write O sarf. This is our sarf object. And here we call the method set screen status. Then exporting report equals C rep id it's a system variable where the name of my report is stored next pf status it's the name of my GUI status in my case it's standard and then set functions is cl sarf table and c functions all Then pretty print and activate the code and let's run the code and we see here my two custom buttons but so far they have no function. So let's go back to the code and the next step is we have to define a new class method and I name it on function. So I write class methods. On function. Or event. And now let's uh, double click the class CL Sarf events table. Yes, we saved the code before and then click on the tab events and here we see the, the whole events of this class and we already used the event double click in this program and today we need the event edit function. So we copy this string and we go back to the code and then we paste this string here. And we write again of CL self events table importing E self function. Uh, 
Okay. Next, we uh, write the implementation of our new method. And I want to display a simple pop up which we can display the function code. So I write here method on function message function code e solve function and this message pop up is of type i then close the method And that the whole thing work, we still have to set a handler here. So we write set handler LCL events on function or O events. Let's pretty brain the code and activate. And let's run the program and we click on one of the custom buttons and we see the function code. So let's click on the other button and we see the function code as well. Okay, so and here in the implementation of the method, you can then decide what should happen after clicking on the button. Yes, that was it already. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. I'm always happy to read it. If you like my channel, I would appreciate a subscription. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.